black people, y'all got to stop this mess. This video is brought to you by Officer Privacy. Officer Privacy, get your personal information off the internet. Officer Privacy can help you do that. I work with them. They take, they took my stuff off the internet and they monitor it every month. I don't even think about it. These websites are buying and selling your information. They're putting your stuff up. All you got to do is Google your name and you'll see that they, you pay for the service and, and you'll have access to all these people's information. However, if you're a police officer or you're a teacher or somebody who feels the need that you need to get your stuff off the internet out of fear of being doxxed. Work with my people over at Officer Privacy. OfficerPrivacy.com forward slash Tatum. Link is in the description section. Like and subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live or make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Comment on this video. Share this video. Come on, y'all. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, here we go again. Here we go again. Now, I wasn't there. I don't know if it's true. I don't know if it's not true. But what I can tell you is that we've seen this party before. We've been to this party before. Headline from New York Post. Woman allegedly shot by Missouri cops five times while fleeing suspected carjacking. Okay? There was a woman on the scene, Shanae Nequa, whatever her name is. I don't even know how to say her name. She's on the scene. She recorded this video, and she's screaming in the video saying, they shot her, they shot her, they shot her. She's saying, it's her name right here. Shadeja, Shadeja, Shadeja. I don't know how to say her name. Y'all, y'all help me in the comment section. Give me the phonetics on how to say this girl's name. She's in the comment section saying they shot her, they shot her, they shot her. She said that she that the woman had her hands up and that the woman was pregnant. Now, there is no evidence so far that I have from doing any research that the woman is actually pregnant. The authorities or anybody else can't confirm if the woman is pregnant because all they have is the witness saying that the woman is pregnant. And they don't know if the witness heard the woman say she was pregnant or did the witness ask the woman if she's pregnant? Did the witness know the woman who's on the ground and knows that she's pregnant? None of those, none of that information is applicable in this case. Now, the police are saying, and we'll find out because they look like they got body-worn cameras, the police are saying that she was in a uh, a vehicle matching a carjacking, right? A carjacking isn't just stealing someone's car. A carjacking is stealing someone's car by force. They identified the vehicle of a carjacking or related to a carjacking. It could have been the vehicle that was carjacked. Two occupants are in the vehicle. The vehicle takes them on a small chase or, 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 they, or they find it somewhere. Somehow they light it up. Occupants run. The male suspects run, they catch him. The female suspect runs, and it, it, it resulted in a shooting. The police are saying she had a gun on she had a gun on her. She had it in her hand at the time she got shot. Now we don't know if she pointed at the cops. If I was a betting man, I would bet that she did, or, or, or she pulled it out or something, and she ended up getting shot. The black community is going crazy like they always do with no information. Not everybody in the black community, but you know the dummies, which is which is, I, I would I would argue there's a good number of people online that are black and are dumb. Now I don't know where the rest of them at, but the ones online, shade room and all this, most of them are their brains don't work properly, and they're coming out and saying police are always out here killing us for no reason. Hey, she was pregnant. Well, y'all not talking about the fact that she was in a potential carjacking vehicle, and she had a gun in her hand when she got shot. What is a pregnant woman doing? Involved in a carjacking with a gun in her hand, running from the police. But that's okay, because black people can be able to be degenerate all they want, and nobody cares. If you ask me to be a betting man, and I'm not saying this is true or not, I wasn't there. You want me to be a betting man, I would argue that they end up cornering her, she pulled a gun out, and they shot her. If I'm a betting man. And that she was involved in a carjacking. Well, her boyfriend took off running. She took off running, too, because she's involved in a carjacking. And then somehow, maybe she fell and the gun came out. Maybe she was trying to pull a gun out to ditch it. Regardless, I, be, I, I believe them when they say she had the gun in her hand when she shot him, when she got shot. Now, is that true? I don't know. But I'm just being a betting man because some people that don't know what happened is betting too that these officers just out here killing black people for no reason. Have you ever asked yourself this question? Have you asked yourself this question? Why is it black people that's always involved in this stuff? 
Because it ain't like the cops are just eating donuts and they see a black person. Oh, there go a black person. Let's go and gun them down because we're definitely not going to be held accountable. We definitely ain't going to go to jail for this in 2022. We, we Nothing will happen to us. I mean, this is, this is how people think. The cops just out here just finding black people to hunt down. Have you ever sat back and thought about it and said, why does it seem like black people are always in these situations? Why? It's not white people. It's not Mexican people. You don't see you don't see white people. You don't see you hardly ever see a white person on camera like this. You know, you know why? It's because black people, for some reason, and, and you, well, let me put this in perspective. Police are mostly dealing with criminals. So let's talk about the criminal element of black people. It ain't just, it's not just black people are susceptible. It's not just black people are fearing cops. It's the criminal element of black people. So let's 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 push it over here. Out of the criminal element of black, white, Hispanic, why does it seem like black people are getting shot more than anybody else? It's because their behavior, carjacking, fleeing, gun in possession. You want to go to another one? Michael Brown, a fighting a police officer, trying to take the police officer's gun, attacking a police officer. Who you want to go with? Eric Garner, resisting arrest on his 40-something arrests. Philando Castile, and, and that was a questionable one in my opinion, but Philando Castile got a gun in his pocket. Don't reach for it, don't reach for it. He reached for his license or something. The gun comes out of his pocket. That's not how you carry a gun. And the officer perceived that he's reaching for the gun. He's shot. Why, how, how, you know, why are you even being pulled over in the first place? Why are you even got, and, and nobody talks about the fact he had drugs in the car with him, but we're not going to talk about that fact. Nobody's going to talk about the fact he was illegally in possession of a firearm because you can't be in possession of a firearm with illegal drugs. Nobody's going to talk about that. In addition to that, why are nobody talking about the fact that he illegally obtained, potentially illegally obtained, a CCW? Because he had drugs and his toxicology results that led back before he had a CCW. On the CCW, you cannot be using illegal drugs. So he lied on the CCW, got a CCW, riding dirty with a gun and weed in the car. But, you know, black people can do whatever they want to do. They didn't deserve to die. Well, you know, I, God is the only person that can decide if somebody deserves to die or not. But do your actions necessitate a police response that puts your life in danger? And I was just on revolt. And it makes me lose hope in black people sometimes. Because how is the host and the person on there both don't know what they're talking about? You give, you present basic facts and they clam up and, and, and they want to attack you. Why we got to be like this, black folk? Why can't I go on a black show and the, mo and the person who's a moderator be actually a moderator? Why they got to get offended and won't let you talk? I was at the Revolt Summit. They, they took my, my, everything I said out of the panel when they uploaded online. They took, my, they took what I said out of the panel. They deleted it. Because they didn't want the world to hear what I had to say. They deleted it. Okay. That's enough for me today. I love y'all. I'm out.